This is Mirabella's Kitchen, and today I'm making chicken pot pie. If you'd like to cook with me, please check the description below for a list of the ingredients and a shout out to my Patreons. I start by dicing four ribs of celery. I peel and dice one pound of carrots. I dice one medium-sized yellow onion. You can also use pearl onions. I take one rotisserie chicken and remove the skin. Then I remove the meat from the bones and shred it with my fingers. I then take a knife and run it through the chicken, making everything into bite-sized pieces. Next, I'm going to make a pie crust. This is my family recipe. It's my first time making it and I felt really connected to my grandma. I start by taking two and one fourth cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of vegetable shortening. I then cut the shortening into the flour using two butter knives. You can also use a pastry cutter. I'm looking for the shortening to be very small pieces in everything to start to be very flaky. I then add initially three tablespoons of whole milk that is cold and then I start to work everything into a ball, slowly adding another three tablespoons or so to just barely form this into a ball. You can also use water instead of milk and you really want to work the dough as little as possible. This dough is great because you don't have to let it rest or be in the fridge at all. I flour my work surface and I take the dough and cut it into two pieces. One will be for the bottom of the pot pie and one will be for the top. I use a rolling pin to roll the dough out into a rectangular shape for an 11 by seven inch baking dish. I then use a bench scraper to help remove the dough from the countertop because it's starting to stick just a little bit and I gently lower it into the baking dish, putting the edges up the side of the dish. I then take one stick of unsalted butter and melt it over medium heat in a Dutch oven. I then add 3 fourths cup of all-purpose flour and whisk it in to make a roux. Once the roux starts to smell nutty, I slowly add in one cup of white wine. I use Pinot Grigio using a whisk. I then whisk in one cup of chicken stock. So this is the beginning of the chicken pot pie mixture, all the chicken and everything that's gonna go in the crust. After that, I whisk in four cups of whole milk. You can use less if you want a thicker interior to the pie, or you can use more if you like it pretty thin. Once everything has been whisked in, I let the mixture start to boil, making sure to scrape the pot and stir it very consistently because milk burns pretty easily. I like to use a spatula at this point. Once everything starts to bubble, I add in the carrots and I will cook them until they are halfway done. It takes five to 10 minutes, depending on the size of the carrots. So you want the fork to have some resistance once you insert it. Once it's halfway, I then add the celery and the onions and again cook them halfway with minor resistance when inserting a fork into the pieces. Now I'm going to season it with what looks like way too much salt. I probably use one to two tablespoons worth of salt, but you want it to be really salty and you add a little bit of pepper, but very salty and I taste it very consistently. I want to taste the salt. The vegetables are gonna add in a lot of water and it's gonna really dilute the salt. You want it seasoned properly. Then I add the chicken once everything is seasoned to my liking and I look at my note to remember to put in peas because I always forget them and it's about one cup of peas, one half cup to one cup of frozen peas directly from the freezer. Stir that in, turn off the heat and then I start to add the mixture into the baking dish. Now I roll out the top of the chicken pot pie 
And this one's not as pretty as the last one, but that's all right. I take one egg and beat it and use a brush to brush the edges of the baking dish with some egg wash. I take the rest of the egg wash and use it on the top of the pie crust. I want a really nice color on the pie crust and the egg wash will help. You want the edges to kind of drape over the side about an inch or so, however much as you can get. I put it on a sheet tray and put it in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes to bake. After it's done baking, the crust looks really nice and pretty, and I let it rest for 10 minutes before I cut it to serve it. So the interior of my chicken pot pie is a little bit on the runnier side, but once it sits for a bit, it does thicken up. That's why I let it rest. It's really delicious, it's really hearty, it's really full, and putting it into a dish isn't really the easiest, and it, it doesn't always look the prettiest after that, but that's totally okay because it tastes awesome. And that's chicken pot pie. Thanks for joining me today. I make new videos on cooking every Wednesday. Please support me on Patreon and on Facebook at Mirabella's Kitchen.